Hello everyone, Owen Azuris here. It is Saturday, or well, at least it's Saturday when I'm releasing this video. It might not be Saturday when you're watching it, and we are playing some Cure Hunters. It is a free-to-play kind of roguelike game that was released on... I have it on my iPhone here. And as you can see, I got some extra currency here to let me unlock some characters. I can also watch a video to double that currency, but I'm not going to do that now because... As we'll find out, or at least last time I played, there are a lot of videos in this game. So I'm going to start with Dr. Delton, because that's the only character I've unlocked. Go ahead and hit play, and we will see what kind of game this is. So there's been a zombie outbreak, a zombie apocalypse. There are enemies all over the place. This is an action game. You can look in the top left. I can take four hits. I have a left and right arrow key. Allow me to move left and right. Up lets me jump. And then this lets me fire. I thought I had another gun. So right off the bat, I will say combat in this game actually feels pretty good. The control in a game like this, I'm usually not very good at action games on the iPad and iPhone due to the touch controls of the action games. And you can't double jump. Oh, I forgot this had recoil. And darn it. Does heat up your phone though. Let me go ahead and shoot these guys. And I did not see what hit me there. So yeah, I mean, it's free. It's an action-y, roguelike game. You can't upgrade your guns. Get new classes. If you double tap, you kind of do a... Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I hate those frogs. Continue. No, we're not going to continue now. Let's go back home. And let's play again. So I'm probably just going to look at this game just this week, and probably not much next week, unless I make a lot of progress. Because it's really, what you see is what you get. Now you can destroy these, and sometimes get... I like the fact the traps are destructible. That is cool. Okay. So let us try... Yeah, I hate that I forgot my gun has recoil. Okay, these fro Okay, that's what exploded last time and hurt me. Those frogs are very annoying. And as are those little things. And playing this, I kind of wish, with how good the controls are, that when Nintendo made their Mario game, they've kind of done something like this rather than an auto runner, because this feels really good. Ooh, despite those annoying frogs. Ooh. Let's keep... Oh shoot, I jumped too high. I saw that just... I should have dodge rolled there. Okay, I don't like those blind jumps like that. And I don't like these frogs hanging out right around there. And the story of the game, I mean, there's really not much to write home about there. There's been a zombie outbreak. You've pretty much been commissioned to find the cure for it. Hence the name, Cure Hunter. And this was going well. Still is going well. I like my jump shots there. 
I thought the recoil was going to knock me off. Okay, let's just go straight and miss all those guys. And if I made it... that's locked. Shoot, did I have to beat enough enemies? Okay, I think now the boss is unlocked. Or it's showing me I have to defeat all those other guys. Yeah, it's showing me I have to defeat all these other guys. Darn it. Okay, I should not have... Now, when you dodge roll, you do have... Invincibility frames, which I'm gonna have to use here. Looks like I take care of him. Area clear, good. Okay. Can trade with him so I can get some armor, scatter gun, do a med pack. Okay, so I got some shots of my scatter gun here. Okay, I thought I was hitting this. I guess I wasn't. So areas do seem to be randomly generated, which does qualify as a roguelike, and also. When you die, you die. Well, you can watch a video, but sometimes in roguelikes you can keep playing after. Okay, this thing does not have the range that I thought, but we're going to save it. It is more powerful. Shoot those orb things. Some treasure chest here. I like the fact the traps don't damage you if you touch the sides. Some games, like the trap, the whole thing is an obstacle. And if it, you touch it, it hurts you. Okay, let's use some brain power here. Dodge this guy and his orbs. Yeah, so lots of zombies have been struck by this plague or this outbreak. Uh, recoil almost made me back, and there are bosses in this game. Bosses are pretty tough. I've beaten one, and I think the bosses, from what I've read, are not randomized, so in this area, I'm always going to encounter the same boss. Let's go ahead and trade, get another meta pack. Jump. I don't know how far I have to go before I encounter the boss. I 
I like to destroy the traps just to be safe, and I did see there is a spike wall up there. Normally I jump right into those things. What is that noise? That is loud. There's something up here? There's a treasure chest there. Okay, let's be careful here. No need to rush it. Watch out. Okay. Okay, that's what these are. I was just hearing the echoes of them. Wow, there's a lot of traps here. Let's make sure no part of me accidentally gets caught on them. About to say, I thought I off screen that. All right, let's trade again. A pistol. Ooh, that's fast. I think we got a boss here. So we got the royal fly loves poop and crowns. see bosses take a lot of damage. I'd like to beat them. So he's shooting flies at me and he likes to poop, so I probably don't want to be under him either. Yep. Disgusting little guy. But that's flies for you. Glad I bought this scatter shot. Oh, crap. Attack me while I'm paused? Well, that's not good. Okay, that was not good. Hopefully, it'll let me watch a video. Now, let's learn about Era of Celestials. So, they got that treasure chest, and they got more powerful. Lots of numbers on the screen. I know nothing about this game. I don't even know if this game is anything like its advertisement. Very seldom are games like their advertisement. I keep getting this one for a zombie game that's nothing like it. Oh, shoot, I'm just at... You know, that's really nice. Put me right in the path here. So that would be a negative thing. You watch this video, you give them some money, and instead of helping you, they put you right in the path of... i destroy all those. Ow. And I bet I can't continue. No. So that's pretty much Cure Unders. It is a fun game. I'm enjoying it. 
It was a little cheap when I watched that video and supported the game, and then it dropped me right back and I immediately took a bunch of damage because I didn't have much as far as invincibility frames. But besides that, some blind jumps that are yeah, sometimes normal in some of these games. It's overall a fun game. The controls are great. I really like the controls. I wish... Uh, I really wish some games would learn from these controls. As I said, if Nintendo wants to make another Mario, a controls like this that are as responsive as this, because just playing this, I'm able to double jump off walls, I'm able to well, do regular jumps, move left and right, and shoot, and do all of that, and very easy, intuitive to learn controls, and easy, intuitive learned commands. So, if you enjoyed this video, this quick look at Cure Hunters, first off, if you enjoyed this look at the game, it's free to download, so I'll have a link for the iOS store on the description in this YouTube video. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.